Lori Lachlan and her husband Massimo Giannulli are getting ready to pack their moving trucks. ET has learned that the couple's Bel Air mansion is currently in escrow and has passed contingencies. ET previously reported that the couple listed their Spanish-style residence in January with a price tag of $28,650,000. Our source says they've since entertained multiple offers, and while they aren't getting the original asking price, according to our source, the former actress and her husband are still making a profit on the sale and are, quote, happy with the deal. I'll be sending you the listing agreement right now. The agency's Arvin Haddad is handling the listing. ET previously reported that everyone seemed shocked by Lori and Massimo's decision to put their home on the market. But a source told ET at the time that the couple has wanted to sell for a while, adding that it just hasn't been a priority with everything they've been going through in the past year. According to our source, listing their home has helped Lori and Massimo feel like they're taking a step towards getting their lives, quote, back to normal. I don't feel like we're that, like, interesting or entertaining. Like, we're just a nice, normal family. You know, like, we don't, we're, we don't have anything outrageous really yes. happening. Nearly two months ago, Lachlan and Giannulli pleaded guilty for their role in the college admissions scandal. The two were accused of paying $500,000 in bribes to get their daughters Olivia Jade and Isabella Rose admitted to USC as recruits on the crew team, even though neither daughter had ever participated in the sport. The couple initially pleaded not guilty to all charges, claiming their payments were donations to the school rather than bribes. I just want them to have that experience and get that education and have a degree to fall back on. In her plea deal, Lachlan agreed to serve two months in prison and two years of supervised release, plus pay a fine of $150,000. The 55-year-old also agreed to complete 100 hours of community service. Meanwhile, her husband's deal includes serving a five-month prison sentence with two years of supervised release, a $250,000 fine, and 250 hours of community service. The couple's official sentence date is set for August 21st.